Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract with weak genule and a very hard nucleus. Let us observe this surgery. I have made a puncture in the anterior capsule and milky fluid came out. Removing the milky fluid, you can see that the uh, tear in the anterior capsule is such that we have to do this rexis clockwise. Otherwise, if we pull the pull it anticlockwise, the it may go to periphery. So I hold the this margin and guide it clockwise. There is fibrosis in the central part of the capsule and here see the journal is so weak the, the bag is getting pulled yes, with very gentle movements I could do this rexis but the size of this rexis is small because the cataract is the nucleus is very hard. So, what to do now? First thing is I place this CTR, the capsule attention ring. Now, how to place the distant end, the leading end into the bag? I take help of this Sinsky hook, take it inside the bag and then release, give the Sinsky hook to my assistant and take a forceps and with these two forceps, I place the most of the part of the CTR in the bag. Now the trailing end is to be put in the bag. Again I take the Sinsky hook in my left hand and Macpherson's forceps in the right hand and in this way I place the trailing end of the CTR in the equator of the capsular bag. And now I want to enlarge the rexis a little bit. I will not be able to enlarge it much. So I make a small nick on the right side and take the uterator forceps and enlarge the rexis a little bit, not much. But this small enlargement will help in managing the nucleus. And now I introduce the FECO needle. This is a free floating nucleus and it is going to be a challenge to manage this nucleus. But you, but we have to be stronger than the challenge to overcome the challenges. So I go inside the nucleus and try to make some cracks. I could not get a nice crack. Now I hold this side. Whenever we hold the nucleus, try to hold the nucleus, there should be some thick matter in front. Otherwise, if some soft matter is there, it may get just eaten away and we may catch the posterior capsule. So, some thick and hard nuclear matter should be in front whenever we try to hold the nucleus. So, I am trying to hold at many places and trying to get as many cracks as possible and trying to get a free nuclear fragment. But till now, 
I have not succeeded. I have not got any free fragment in this case. But I have got some cracks, but the central plate is so stubborn that it is not giving in. And I am struggling a lot. I came out, injected visco, and now I take two hooks and try to separate the pieces and try to get a free nuclear piece. I am not doing a lot of lateral separation because the injonule is already weak and too much lateral separation can cause tear of jonular fibers in some areas. And now I introduce the FECO needle again. And now my plan is to hold the peripheral part of the nucleus and emulsify bits and pieces of the nuclear matter from the periphery and to get some gap somewhere through which I can introduce a hook behind the plate and be able to divide the nucleus into some pieces. So, here I am trying to catch at the periphery, still it is not a free piece. I pull it centrally and a portion from the periphery is emulsified. The posterior capsule in such cases comes forward frequently. So, here I have gone behind and pushed this piece forward and now I have some idea. I come out, inject visco, visco in this case is 2 percent HPMC and now through this gap I will go behind one hook will be behind another one above and I will crush the band joining the pieces that is crush the stubborn posterior plate and make the pieces free. So, here I go behind and the another hook crushes this band from above and this piece is now free and there is some tenting of the plate. The apices of the fragment are away from the posterior capsule. So, I will just apply a burst of ultrasonic energy to this apex and make the pieces free here. So, I will just apply ultrasound here and all the pieces become free. Now, I gradually emulsify the nuclear pieces. In this case, the ultrasonic energy applied was between 60 to 90 percent, flow rate is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. And during emulsification of the last piece, still I am at the same setting. My plan is to leave a portion of this piece come out and manage the last portion of this piece over the intraocular lens. That means, I am going to implant the intraocular lens now in the capsular bag. 
So I take the visco, inflate the inflate the capsula bag. The uh, nuclear nuclear piece goes to one side. There is enough space to introduce the lens in the bag. Now this is a very nice lens. This is sensor owned from Johnson and Johnson. No financial interest, but this is a very good lens. And now the poster capsule is hundred percent protected. And now I take the FECO needle again. At this time, we have to take care of both the cornea and the intraocular lens. We have to be in such a position that we do not touch the optic of the intraocular lens and we are quite away from the corneal endothelium and easily we can emulsify the nuclear piece. It is done and now the rest of the case is routine. There is a nuclear piece. So, we have to remove that and some cortex is also there, we have to remove that. So, I remove this nuclear piece, then remove the visco cortex and complete the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.